when I first started using CAD, I was, um, I, for example, I took an egg shape and I thought, what can you do with an egg shape and how, how many ways can you deconstruct and reconstruct it into what would really be a mini sculpture. So I would take inspiration from all sorts of places, from sitting at the British Museum and looking at the drain covers. That inspired my whole Escalator series. Um, and so it's a sort of a deconstruction process from a form, if you like. You pull a shape apart and put it back together and see how many, you know, what it could become. And sometimes that shape evolves into another shape. And sometimes you take, the deconstruction element and then apply that to another series of shapes. So it, it, it's a, a natural evolution in my mind. My interest in architecture started with, I did do a, a year at university and it, my brother is an architect and uh, I spend a lot of time looking up uh, rather than looking down. And I think I find a lot of inspiration in different architects like Zaha Hadid who, um, when she first came on, I couldn't believe the building she was making. And I think that those forms, you know, it's something that I would really aspire to with some of my work. If you're going to work with the whole rapid prototyping technology, you really have to have an understanding of what you can and can't do, A, with the printing and this and the um, you know the kind of assembly and the casting processes and what's going to work and what's not going to work and you have to have a full knowledge of hand making processes because all of that is involved in it as well I think that people who think that this kind of technology is um, in some way cheating or something I think it's just a, a, another tool in the box like a, a ruler or a pair of pliers we've got cat and printing and casting and all of these things and they're all the rich tapestry of what it is to make jewellery. It gives you a kind of a freedom because you're not really restricted with the kind of forms you can come up with using these um, rapid prototype typing techniques. You know a lot of it is that you can make things things that would be very very time consuming to make by hand. You've got you can make things more affordable by using this technology. I have to say, over the years, I've tried using different places and, and different waxes. I just haven't found anything that, at the quality of the waxes that I get from a solid scape printer. And I know what I'm working with, and it works really well for my pieces. I would much rather be making design for longevity. When somebody buys a piece of jewellery of mine, it, it's not it's not going to go out of fashion. It's something that we're going to be wearing for the rest of their life. That's the aim, you know, in 20 years time, it's still going to look relevant. There are people who definitely have big collections of jewellery and will add, you know, pieces of mind to them. But there are also people who are looking for something a bit different, something that you're not going to find on the high street. I mean, if it's a surprise present or something like that, I quite, I would go and look at and see if I could get a few photographs of the person and what they wear and general idea for the kind of size of work that they will wear because you don't want to you know push somebody too far otherwise they're going to feel uncomfortable um, and quite often I would use CAD as a as a, a design tool and I would do up two or three different designs to start with because CAD's great for showing clients because you can have a really 3D idea of what a piece is going to look like and you know I can change things while we're looking at it and make things something bigger or take a bit out so um, by the time they kind of commit they've got a, a really good idea uh, of, of what they're going to get. It's the whole story of having met me and they know my process they know that I'm how I'm making these things they know the story behind the piece how I, how I came up with the idea. One of the things we all love about jewellery is that these pieces you know mark moments in people's lives. I, I had um, a couple who came into my workshop and she saw they saw it it's a it is a CAD piece and it was printed on solid scale. They saw this uh, white gold and black diamond ring and they got engaged in front of my stand and he ordered it and then they sent me photographs of when he gave it to her on the beach in Brighton. And it was lovely and you know you sort of you feel that you're involved in great moments in people's lives.